Tableau 2020.3 is here with over 30 enhancements to help scale your analytics, making trusted data more accessible to everyone. Key new features include the ability to write to external databases from within Tableau Prep and the ability to automatically grant licenses to users when they first sign in to Tableau Server or Tableau Online. We'll explore the enhancements by functionality, data preparation, deployment, connecting to data, data modeling, authoring, augmented analytics, consuming, data management, and developer tools. Let's get started. From within Tableau Prep Builder, write prepared data to databases in the cloud or on-premises to leverage your existing database and governance investments and manage trusted data at scale. First, select an output step. Set the output file to be a database table. Specify your database server and credentials. Select a database and database table. Choose whether to create a new table, append to an existing table, or replace data in an existing table. In this example, we'll create a new table. On the right, we see the mapping of our fields. When we run our flow, the data is then written to the external database we specified. We've made it easier to extend the value of Tableau to more users. Site administrators can now automatically grant a license and a role to a group of users upon each user's first login to Tableau Online or Tableau Server. This group contains two unlicensed users. We'll set the group to Grant Role on Sign-In and set the minimum site role as an explorer who can publish. Now, when one of those users logs in for the very first time, they are automatically assigned a license and granted the minimum site role we specified. To ensure a smooth installation and upgrade experience, Tableau Server now automatically performs a set of checks as you start the initialization or upgrade process. These checks are designed to detect common errors and issues around permissions, credentials, and base ports that can arise during upgrade and install. You can also perform this check at any time with the TSM command. Today this capability is for Windows, but we are working to bring it to Linux soon. For our SAP HANA connector, you now have the ability to connect to table functions, stored procedures that return a table. We have also achieved official SAP certification, HANA BI SQL 2.0, for integration with SAP HANA on Tableau Desktop, Prep, Server, and Online. Also check out the new Tableau and S4HANA Analytics white paper for guidance and best practices around S4HANA integration and how to optimize the experience of using Tableau and S4HANA together for analytics. Tableau Bridge automatically detects and notifies you when there's a newer version of Tableau Bridge available to help you stay up to date on the latest Bridge features. Additionally, with Tableau Bridge, you can easily connect live data or build extracts for AWS, Redshift, Snowflake, and other cloud data sources in a virtual private cloud. We also have new connectors in the extension gallery, provide support for Google BigQuery numeric types, and enable you to connect to Presto in web authoring. Relationships now provide an improved drag and drop experience. Additionally, we can now relate tables based on custom calculated fields and inequality operators. In this example, the employee sales table shows the monthly sales amounts for employee number one. When we look at the employee table, we see that employee number one has switched sales teams each quarter from team A to B to C, based on the start date and end date columns. If we relate these two tables based solely on employee ID, then in our viz, our sales amounts for this employee will be repeated erroneously for each team they were on. To correct this, we'll use the new relationship inequality operators to implement slowly changing dimensions. We'll specify that the month of the sales must be greater than or equal to the start date on the team and also less than or equal to the end date on the team. Now, our viz correctly allocates the sales to each team the employee was on.
When creating calculations, you can now use the in operator to test whether a specified value matches any value in the list of comma separated values, a set, or combined fields. In this calculation, we're looking for subcategory values in the list of values, accessories, and appliances. We then use this calculation within our viz. The in operator supports string, numeric, date, and Boolean data types. Two new predictive modeling functions go beyond Tableau's existing trendline analytical function to build a model that understands how your data is distributed around a best fit line. Model Quantile is a table calculation that returns a target value at a specified percentile based on other predictors. Model Percentile is a table calculation that returns the probability of the expected value being less than or equal to the observed mark based on other predictors. Analyzing spatial data just got easier. You can now union two or more tables containing spatial field types. Our first table contains data for the state of Washington. Let's union that with a table containing data from the state of California. It's that simple. You can also union geographic events from different periods of time. The ability to add third-party map services such as Mapbox Maps and WMS Maps is now available directly in the Background Maps menu. Here, I'm adding a basic style from my Mapbox.com account. The Manage Maps menu item also has an updated user interface for more easily adding and managing your external map connections. Use filters in the data pane to refine your search and find the right field you need for analysis. Search and filter based on field name, type, or comments. You can now create, edit, or remove data source or viz filters in a browser. We can let go of the mouse since relative date filters are now fully keyboard and screen reader accessible, enabling more relevant and complete analysis. Use the tab key, spacebar, arrow keys, enter button, and screen reader commands to complete your filtering in Tableau Server and Tableau Online. Context filters can now control the list of values displayed by the set control in a dashboard, allowing end users to select from the most relevant values to power their analysis. Make your data even more approachable with new improvements to Ask Data's suggested questions. Customize the suggestions and add display text so they appear in colloquial language that your users are more accustomed to. Additionally, we've added refinement support for absolute date filters, and Tableau Online users can now access onboarding and curation resources directly from the product. Explain data can now consider fields from multiple logical tables that are connected via relationships. Choose fields for explain data to consider. Select a mark of interest. Launch explain data using the tooltip icon or context menu. Examine the possible explanations for the selected mark. Quickly access projects, workbooks, and dashboards that others have shared with you on Tableau Server or Tableau Online all in one place via the Shared With Me tab on the Home menu. Customized views are automatically saved separately so that you can quickly navigate to the personalized view you need. From within Tableau Server and Tableau Online, you now have the option to download cross tabs in Excel format, preserving consistent number and cell formatting. This functionality is also available within the Download Button Dashboard object. You can now customize the page orientation and page size of your PDF subscriptions to better format how your dashboards are displayed. You can also set an email subscription to run when the underlying data extract refreshes. This makes it easy to get the latest data out as soon as it's available. Tableau Mobile for BlackBerry is a new app that provides a quick and secure way to view, analyze, and leverage the data in your organization. Tableau Mobile for Workspace ONE is an update to the existing app compatible with iOS 13. Both apps include a newer design that is faster and more intuitive, an improved search and browsing experience consistent with Tableau Server and Tableau Online, 
as well as enhanced offline capabilities that are quick to load and offer richness and interactivity for visualizations. You can now tag stale content directly from the stale content admin view for easy follow-up with content owners. In this example, any content older than 45 days is considered stale. We select the content and then tag it as stale. To confirm that the tag has been applied, we can navigate to the content on the server and then check its tags. See every asset in your environment via external assets, including files and tables that are embedded in workbooks. This provides a holistic view of the data users are leveraging outside of published data or content. Make it even easier to find the right data by tagging external assets including databases, tables, and columns. Keep users informed of data quality warnings while they're performing their analysis in Tableau Desktop. With a quick indicator on the data source, users get the information they need about the state of the data. We've added a couple of new JavaScript APIs. Please see the new features hub for more information. When you generate a PNG or PDF of a dashboard that you are viewing in Tableau Desktop, it will now render the extension zones image. To learn more about Tableau 2020.3, please visit our new feature hub, take our new feature Spotlight eLearning course, or visit our Tableau help pages. Thanks for watching.